And so I want to look at five different points that give us some idea of what's happening. Is that, first of all, this passage is coming right after they just buried Joshua's mentor. His miracle working, prophesying, nation delivering, uh, Egypt defeating mentor, they just buried him. That's Moses. And so Moses parted the seas, got water out of the rock, uh, defeated Pharaoh, all these things. Well, Joshua's been following him. He's been Moses' aid. He's been the one right at his side. He's been uh, uh, his mentoree. He's been learning and growing him. And all that time, Moses is saying, do you know what? We're going to go take the promised land. God's with us. And he's watching Moses do these miraculous things. And he is walking with God. And he's saying, man, this guy is my leader. He knows God. He walks with God. He hears from God. He accomplishes things. And he's mentoring me. And he's telling me we're going to this promised land. Okay. But he just died. Okay, put yourself in Joshua's shoes. How would you be feeling if somebody said, this is the vision, this is the mission, this is where God's taken us, and you could see the power of God working in their life, and you're getting out in the middle of all that, you spend a bunch of time wandering around without getting anything done, and then all of a sudden that person's gone. 